Max A. Smith, you talk about a young man can play, leads the entire country in scoring. He is the, is the quarterback of this high-powered offense. Be fun to watch him against the Buckeyes. And their head coach is Paul Mills out of the Summit League. Every year they have improved under Mills in his fourth season. As we check out the starting lineups presented by Wendy's, you mentioned A. Smith. He's also joined by an all-league performer in Kevin O'Banner, Ohio State. No Kyle Young for Chris Holtman's squad. Young has been dealing with a concussion. They will miss his energy. They will miss his leadership. But they have grown accustomed to playing without Young. He's been in and out of the lineup. We're underway in West Lafayette on the campus of Purdue. And Oral Roberts controls the tip. And Bird, this team right here, you talk about a high-powered offense. They lead the NCAA in scoring. They shoot a high volume of three-pointers. It'll be fun to watch them here in person. On the cut, easy bucket. A. Smith gets to the rim, averaging 24 and a half points per game. He gets a lot of shots up. Great back cut right there, but an unselfish 24. Really runs this team and distributes the ball well. Dump it down low early. Liddell, clean block, bank shot no, and knocked away, controlled by Jurgens. The Estonian product, the sophomore. And for the Golden Eagles, it's it's five on the perimeter, a lot of screen and roll. Everyone's capable of knocking down threes. Being able to guard and stay connected is important as a tip in there for Lotsis inside. He popped it up in the air. Looked like Arns was going to grab it after the block shot on Jurgens. And a 4-0 lead. First all-time meeting between Oral Roberts and Ohio State. Buckeyes interaction at 21 and 9. They went to overtime in the Big Ten Championship and fell to Illinois 91 to 88. Liddell, no, they crashed the boards. And the smallest man on the floor, A. Smith, comes away with it. And gang rebounding essential for the Golden Eagles against the taller, stronger Ohio State Club. And I told you this guy can shoot from anywhere, Bird. Woo! Wow, they call a midcourt max. Max A. Smith. Unlimited range for Amos, and another bucket on the board. 7-0 lead for Oral Roberts. And Ohio State, they need to establish the advantage they have inside as Washington Jr. gets to the rim, can do that pretty much any time he wants against his defense, but Liddell is going to have to be a force here for the Buckeyes. Washington averaging 16 points per game. A. Smith waiting for it ahead of the key, but the drive doesn't go for Jurgens. And really, it's about pace here. Golden Eagles want to get up and down. A more deliberate here, Ohio State taking advantage of how they can execute, and that's the advantage right there, Bird. On the offensive glass, Liddell should have a field day against their interior. He averages six and a half rebounds per game. First team all Big Ten performer this season. Tough, athletic, plays bigger than he is at 6'7", 240. Thompson gets a touch and a travel on O'Banner. You talk about <laughs> mid-court. I mean, this is from the logo right here. The NCAA logo lines it up and feeling confident. And, of course, Ohio State on the glass, taking advantage of the size and strength inside. Liddell, he's used to going against some bigs in the Big Ten. A little smaller opponent here today. Ohio State last appearance in the Final Four was 2012. There were stretches during the season where they looked like a potential Final Four team. Jumper goes down for Dwayne Washington, Jr. He's got excellent range himself. And we are tied at seven. Ball movement for Jurgens. Arns trying to lock him up. Jurgens. Again, Arns is there and he holds up defensively. And Arns not known for his defense, but two great defensive possessions on, on his part. Action out front. Washington drills it straight away. <laughs> and talk about stepping up at the right time of the season. Washington Jr. continuing with his hot shooting from the Big Ten tournament. He led the Big Ten in three-pointers made this season. He averaged 23 points in the Big Ten tournament. Wow. Ace miss. Another from long range. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> there's a reason why he's led the league and the nation in scoring. 
Big jump from his freshman year. He's averaging 10 more points per game in his sophomore year. Push shot doesn't go for suing the transfer from Cal. And it is out of bounds. And when you lead the league in scoring, you have no conscience like my guy A. Smith knocking it down. Good action so far. We're tied at 10. Time to check in at the Jamie Erdahl quadrant. Here's Jamie. It is my area over here, Ian. You mentioned it off the top. Ohio State Buckeyes, once again, third straight game. They are dealing with life without senior forward Kyle Young. Young suffered a concussion one week ago today in the early rounds of the Big Ten tournament. It's the second concussion for Young in the last month. I spoke with Chris Holtman on Wednesday. He said Young had practiced lightly. He was hopeful as of that day, but Ohio State taking the cautious approach. Young is in the building, but not on the bench. All right, thanks so much, Jamie. Canton, Ohio native, Kyle Young. They're hoping to have him back as this tournament progresses. Of course, they have to get through this one first. Wow, hot hand. Dwayne Washington, Jr. He now has 11 of Ohio State's 13 points. And he, <laughs> he has really just elevated his play right there. Great defense, but better offense. Washington knocking it down. That's on me. Ball fake. And the finish on the interior for Kareem Thompson, the Florence, Alabama native. And, and what's interesting is that the Golden Eagles are not intimidated getting off to this really good start. They've had a pretty solid non-conference schedule this year. Not afraid thus far of the Buckeyes. Open look, suing is off the mark. The ball gets knocked out of bounds. Ohio State will retain. Time for power behind the numbers presented by Power Aid. You mentioned Oral Roberts and the offensive prowess, 12th overall in college basketball they shoot it ridiculously well from three-point territory and the best free throw shooting team in the nation i mean 82 percent from the free throw line i mean i couldn't have played for them bro what were your final numbers at duke uh, we'll look who, them up you know uh, who you know who knows i can google that right now <laughs> Jiha. you know it's above 50. <laughs> suing nicely done from justice suing looking to find his footing in the early going ohio state takes a 15-12 lead. And for them to win this game and also have a deep run in Ohio State, suing has to be big, the X factor for the Buckeyes here in the tournament. Ace miss. He could not get the finger roll. Liddell, nice look underneath. Jallo finishes, and Ohio State goes up by five. And what luxury to have a center lead the break and have a no-look pass on that assist. Great pass, Liddell. Bump on the outside. Ace miss holds on to it. Oh, Vanner's got good range. He misses from three-point territory. Ohio State will slow things down here. They finish fifth in the Big Ten this season. Wins over Minnesota, Purdue, Michigan in the Big Ten tournament. Went 19-2 this season when they scored 70 points or more. Good start offensively for the Buckeyes. Washington off the mark. Of course, Ace Smith loves this pick and roll. And he's able to turn that corner and not afraid to attack the bigs inside, drawing a foul. Ace Smith high off the window. It doesn't go, but a foul called. The last name is A-B-M-A-S, but it is pronounced Ace Miss. And look right here, Bird. Liddell just runs the floor and finds the open guy, his teammate Jallo. What luxury, any one of the five players on Ohio State able to secure the defensive rebound and start the break. Liddell showing his versatility. Ace Miss is the highest scoring Golden Eagle since Ray Thompson in 1991-92 when he averaged 25 and a half points per game. Sheldon Stevens, the junior, will check in and he replaces Juergens. Liddell will take a seat for Ohio State. And you talk about A. Smith, he shoots 43% of his shots are three-pointers. So he is letting it fly, 10th in the nation on three-pointer shots. And playing with great confidence, trying to keep his team close here early. He is a biomedical chemistry major, interested in forensics. Wow. Down the road. A scholar and an athlete, I love it. Suing, ball fake. Tries to get it to Washington, who retrieves with 10 to shoot. Washington, watched by A. Smith. Washington lines it up. And rebounded by O'Banner. And Washington can't fall in love with the three. He's capable of turning that corner. Must mix and match there with his offensive attack. They showed him two bodies, Ace Miss. Instead, the open look for O'Banner is in and out. 
C.J. Walker, one of the leaders on this squad, turns it over, scooped up by Stevens. Aismas, small against big. Rebound, O'Banner, the putback won't go, O'Banner can't buy one. And I think right now, Ohio State is getting sped up a little bit, trying to play at this tempo. This is not their game. They want to execute in the offensive sets, which they're so good, Chris Holtman, with his very offensive attack here in the half court. Zed Key in the game. He's going to get a touch mid-post. Banging bodies. Bank shot goes. And he can get that whatever he wants. Nice young player, big body, great touch inside. Taking advantage of, his, of the mismatch. Open look. Thompson, no good. 19-13, Buckeyes. Off the screen from Key. Washington trailed by Stevens. Spin from Suing. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Oh, nice entry. Turn around. Soft touch doesn't go for Key. And exactly what Ohio State wanted, getting the ball inside. Key right there at the basket. Just couldn't convert. Golden Eagles have missed their last six shots. That ball was tipped, so Ace Miss can go back to get it. And, Bird, when you shoot a lot of three-pointers, that's going to happen. You can get hot, but you also have stretches where you can get really cold. Thompson gives it up. Weaver in for the jam. Deshang Weaver, the sophomore, slams it. But, Grant, you're 100% correct. They do not seem the least bit intimidated by the stage or the opponent. I'm, a, I'm, I'm correct every once in a while. <laughs> what, what are you, like Like 30%? <laughs> we'll get the numbers by the end of the first weekend. Yeah, who, who's counting? Zed Key with another bucket. They're establishing Key, that 6'8", 245-pound frame. Ace Miss had the ball tip. Clear it for Stevens, 21-15, Ohio State. And right now, Ohio State switching all screen and rolls. Understanding what Banner is so good at pick and popping for threes. Shake and bake, Washington flip. No, and the rebound taken by Weaver. Thompson will push tempo. Thompson, crossover, and he backs it out. Ball movement, Weaver likes the three. Not that one, air ball. And a push off the rebound. Thompson got shoved by Jello. So far, Oral Roberts hanging with Ohio State. 2-15 matchup in the South. All right, Adam, thanks so much. Fun one so far here. Off of the break in the action, the finish for Weaver will not go. They had the right idea, just couldn't get the deuce. Hey, a beautiful inline out of bounds set, just unable to score. Jones right at the rim there. They opened five of nine from the field, one of their last ten. And it's an offensive foul on Key trying to set up on the interior. Our tournament summary brought to you by Buick. First four, three of the four winners trailed at halftime but moved on. Two of those games were here at Mackey. Summit League teams are 10 and 35 all time. Big Ten teams one and one in the tournament thus far. The loss by Michigan State last night to UCLA in OT. Here's O'Banner. Off the double team, open look. Stevens can't hit the three. Long rebound, knocked to the outside. Ace miss, couldn't get it to drop. Yeah, he is not shy at all, and Ohio State taking advantage of numbers as Walker gets to the free throw line, and he himself, a great free throw shooter himself. And Grant, that's the first foul of the day on Oral Roberts. Watch live games on your computer, phone, tablet, or streaming device with NCAA March Madness Live. Watch now at ncaa.com slash March Madness or download the app. Today, Walker shoots it at 95%. This is rarefied air. <laughs> Transferred from Florida State. Grant tried to give him the announcer jinx. It didn't work. And Liddell will check in. I was just in the sidecar there giving the numbers. And Kareem Thompson will check back in for Oral Roberts. And I'll tell you, I'm so impressed with C.J. Walker. Obviously was a starter, got hurt. Went to the coach, said, hey, you know, I want to come off the bench, not disrupt things. 
and uh, great character on his part and so important to the Buckeyes in this postseason, his play. Chris Holtman recruited him at Butler. He ended up choosing Florida State, but then made the decision when Holtman got the job at Ohio State that he wanted to take his talents to the Big Ten, and it gives Ohio State an eight-point lead. Struggles continue here for Oral Roberts. Turnover, Golden Eagles. And, and you got to value the basketball, which Golden Eagles typically do, but establishing O'Banner, they try to get him the ball. He is so important to this team, almost at 20 points a game. He's got to get involved here on the offensive attack. And O'Banner is 0 of 3 from the field. Ohio State can bring this lead to double figures. Kick it out. Arns off the heel, rebounded by Liddell. They might look to repost here. They will. E.J. Liddell draws a double team. They hedge. Pump and dish on the interior. Shot clock winding down. The toss doesn't go for suing. And give Oral Roberts credit. Swarming the post, making life difficult, understanding the mismatch inside. Ace miss. In and out. Rebounded by Seth Towns, the transfer from Harvard. Arns, no hesitation, off the rim from the corner. Jurgens is back in for Oral Roberts. And you have to love this pace as a fan. These players are getting up and down the court, not shy at all about putting it up. Extra feed, Thompson working around the horn. Jumper doesn't go for Weaver, rebound. Thompson, flip, no, good defense by Liddell. And long shots are going to lead to long rebounds. Certainly a couple of offensive rebound opportunities for the Golden Eagles, just unable to convert. And I, and I think Liddell has to get some touches here, has to get involved and engage. Rims out. And controlled by Jurgens. Trying to get Acemus on the move, but it's cut off there by Arns. Three points over the last seven and a half minutes. A. Smith loses it. The jumper goes. Oh, Banner is on the board. It's a triple. And he can flat out shoot the basketball. A little broken play right there. The final Banner right at the top of the key at 46% from the three-point line. A lot of confidence as a stretch big. 52% from the field overall. 88% at the free throw line. Jumper in and out for Walker. And a foul called off the rebound action. Towns limping a bit. Oh, Banner gets into the box score for Oral Roberts. Buckeyes up by five. Now AT&T 5G takes us above the rim for one of the best plays of the day so far. And sometimes defensively you cannot diagram it. You just have to be alert. They're swarming in the post. Multiple efforts. If four guys, five guys on the glass, gang rebounding. That kind of defensive execution is what Paul Mills wants from his ball club here against the Buckeyes. Ace Smith has missed his last five shots from the field after getting off to the hot start. Pace-wise, you'd have to say initially it was favoring Oral Roberts. Ohio State has adjusted a bit, and Washington is back in for the Buckeyes. They'll run it through Liddell. Kick. Walker. No. Rebound knocked to the outside, and it's Jurgens. Lotsis is back in. Oh, Banner cuts to the rim for the big finish. And the pace right now, getting up the court quickly. Sometimes you can get lost transition defense, and O'Banner wide open with the beautiful finish. Oral Roberts comes into the tournament with the worst defensive rating in the field of 68. But Ohio State has put just 23 on the board. They lead by three. Clear it for Washington. One-on-one -on -one with Ace Miss. Oh, good find. And it's the jam for suing. And as they close down the, the perimeter there defensively, getting on Washington, not allowing them to get to the basket, back cuts and the others have to be ready and available to knock down shots. Great pass, great finish. At some point, this is going to start happening with more regularity. O'Banner hits the three. Oral Roberts led the nation in three-pointers made per game this season. 11.3 per game. That's their fourth of the first half. Incredible. 
They know what they do, they know what they are, and they go out and do it, and it doesn't matter who the opposition is. And, and, a, and a lot of teams aren't familiar with playing against that. And right here, getting down quickly, you have four or five guys that can make decisions. They all can shoot and pass. Beautiful pass inside. O'Banner with the finish, and then you have to get up in his feet. He has... A quick release, not afraid to shoot it. Knocking it down, O'Banner now getting involved. 25-23, Ohio State. Liddell, he's watched by O'Banner. Washington hoists. One and done for the Buckeyes, out of bounds. Well, Oral Roberts, they are based in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Enrollment of 4,303, notable alumni Kathy Lee Gifford. Oh. When she was there, it was Kathy Lee Epstein. Then she was Kathy Lee Johnson. And I just realized that I know way too much about Kathy Lee Gifford. I was going to say, you've been doing your research. You must have stayed up <laughs> late last night reading. I'm impressed. Kathy Lee, we know you're watching. All the best to you. Hope you have great memories from your college days and enjoyed you on Name That Tune way back when. 25-23, Ohio State in front. Ace miss. Got a three. And I love they got him off the ball. Now coming off of screens so quick and fast, getting those feet set. Knocking it down from three. 12 points for the nation's leading scorer, Max Acemiss. Walker has a little bit of room. Tried to spin, loses it. Foul called. It was Jurgens on the interior. And I love this. Just came off a simple screen here. Walker a little late, almost fouled on the closeout. Able to get set, knocking down that three. So coming off of screens and also with the ball in his hands, able to make plays and execute. Aesmith. Paul Roberts up by one on Ohio State. Off the inbound, the ricochet ends up in the hands of Jurgens. Jurgens, a secondary ball handler for this Golden Eagle squad. Swing. Swing, Thompson, and he just cleared it to the backcourt. Turnover. Unbelievably delicious Coca-Cola Cherry Vanilla. Something this good should be out of bounds, but it isn't. And Old Roberts, a team that really values the basketball. Even though they get up and down and play with pace, they don't turn the ball over. That was uncharacteristic of them on that last play. And that ball deflected. Turned it over to Old Banner. Ace miss. Head of steam. Teardrop. Does it go? Rebound knocked to the outside. Thompson claims it. Reload. Ace miss. Shooting practice at the three. The rainbow delivery for Max Acemiss. And Oral Roberts right now feeling good. Second chance points and their man, their ace in the hole, is feeling it from downtown. Max is cooking from all over the floor. Back at Mackey, terrific venue, opened in 1967. Of course, home to the Purdue Boilermakers. Ohio State's played here many, many times. Right now, Oral Roberts has looked like the comfortable team. Six of 13 from three-point territory. And Max A. Smith is living up to the billing. An ideal start for, for Max and his ball club here. Feeling confident, knocking down shots. But more importantly, their defense here really giving a lot of problems and trouble to Ohio State. It is a 9-0 run for the Golden Eagles. Walker, bank shot, no, but a foul. Ohio State has just two points over the last five and a half minutes. They'll have a trip to the line when we come back to West Lafayette. All right, Grant, Max Acemiss. For those who didn't know his name, they're getting to know him now. And there's a reason why he leads the NCAA in scoring. He can get to the rim, has unlimited range, moves with well without the basketball, just plays with extreme confidence, and it's all on display here. He is deep in his bag here in the first half. No doubt. And when you're doing research and you see you have Oral Roberts, you're like, oh, wow, I have Max Abmas. But it's not. <laughs> It's Ace Miss, and let's get more right now.
from Jamie. Yeah, 14 points per game for A. Smith in his freshman year last year, but he knew he had to be able to score off the dribble after a lot of veterans graduated. So quarantine summer almost came at a perfect time. He had to work out by himself and learn how to score off the dribble, but that corner three off the rotated pass, Grant, that was a thing of beauty. It sure was. And just watching him play, his energy, his confidence, not afraid at all. <laughs> and on cue. Oh, oh, again! Ace Miss cannot miss from downtown. Woo! Dazzling. 18 points. He's 5 of 6 from three-point range. 32-26. Post up. Suing. Draws the foul. And it's getting hot in here right now. You have to get out on him. Like we said, unlimited range. Six feet behind the three-point line. Pulls up off the bounce like it's nothing. A. Smith has his team under control. And I, I said the same. I, I, I said I mispronounced his name at first. I, oh, I and, think and I apologize. everybody does. I apologize. Everybody's trying to figure it out. I apologize. Is Nelly here, by the way? I believe you just quoted Nelly. It is getting hot in here. <laughs> That's good. I like that, Bird. Max A. Smith, very eclectic. He is filling it up, 6 of 12 from the field. High man with 18 points. Washington leads Ohio State with 11. This is an extended 17 to 4 run with Oral Roberts in front under three minutes to play first half. Ohio State has put suing on him. He's bigger, he's taller. Obviously a very capable defender, but got to be aware of him. Oh, batter's got moves. And that's what happens when you switch that screen and roll. O'Banner can go down on that block, take advantage of the mismatch like he did on that play. Ten points for Kevin O'Banner, Houston native. Feed it to Liddell. One on one. Oh, what a find underneath for the suing jam. No look pass from E.J. Liddell. And I love the patience there from Liddell, understanding the double team is coming, finding his open teammate for the easy two. O'Banner lines it up. Too strong. I tell you, overcooked it. Hey, seven seconds or less. These guys will put it up. Walker probing, jump shot. No, rebound. Liddell strong inside. EJ Liddell gets the deuce. And great offensive rebound pursuit there. I thought he got away, away with a little push on O'Banner, but Liddell establishing himself on the glass. 34 31, fourth offensive rebound for the Buckeyes. Ace miss. Push was called on the pass, and that's going to be the 15th foul against Ohio State. Uh, and this is Big Ten basketball, getting points in the paint. Liddell knows he's getting double teamed, and then getting on the glass, getting position inside, using his force. Look, he's going against Kofi Coburn, Luca Garza, Hunter Dickinson. Those are some big guys taking advantage of the smaller interior of the Golden Eagles. The rebound by Orange after the miss by Ace Miss. I got nervous talking while Ace Smith was shooting right there. I thought he was going to go in. 34-31, Golden Eagles. Liddell hands to Washington. We know he can heat up quickly. Entry, Liddell. Timer down to seven. High screen, Liddell. Washington off a double team. Towns can't get the jumper to go. Cleared by O'Banner. And Ohio State on the perimeter, exactly what the Golden Eagles want. If Ohio State attacks Oral Roberts, they don't want to get in foul trouble. They'll let him, they'll let them score. O'Banner pivots under a minute to go, first half. Jurgens puts his head down and scores, going to the rim. And what a beautiful shot fake right there, getting Liddell to bite. Jurgens, the second Estonian to ever play in the NCAA tournament. I'm amazed by your, your, your fact finding here. It's incredible. <laughs> We've been in Indianapolis for a while. A lot of time in your room. Liddell banks it home, and they're starting to establish him. And there needs to be a lot of time with Liddell in the post. He has the advantage down there. So versatile, improved so much from last year to this year, playing big for the Buckeyes. And a timeout called by Oral Roberts, 36-33. The Golden Eagles in front of the Buckeyes. And we talked about inside establishing Liddell. Great seal. Takes his time. Very patient. Strong finish. Starting to get going now for his ball club. 
so important to their success. Liddell, oh, I thought he was going off to the restroom. He was going up the stairs, <laughs> but taking a seat behind the bench. Yeah, we have to get used to this alignment in the NCAA tournament. You're almost sitting on a throne. I thought he was going to get some popcorn or something. I didn't know. It, above the action here at Mackey. Foul called. Ohio State had a foul to give. 12.5 on the clock. So Aismith and Washington, two tremendous talents. It's been the Max Aismith show, though, in this first half. No question. Putting on a show, obviously we know what Washington Jr. can do. And you can see Ohio State now going to a zone, kind of a 1-2-2 -two -two zone to try to slow down this offense. Find the open man. Locks this. Can't get it to drop. And we hit the break in West Lafayette. Ohio State heavily favored as the two seed in the south against Oral Roberts. But the Golden Eagles go on a 21-10 run to end the half. Halftime on the campus of Purdue. Oral Roberts, 36. Ohio State 33, AT&T at the half is coming up on CBS. Second half about set to begin here at Mackey. Let's check out the Capital One first half stats. Oral Roberts in front. Ohio State actually shooting 42% from the field. Better than the Golden Eagles, but Oral Roberts making their threes. Ian Eagle along with Grant Hill, Jamie Erdahl. This is like a GQ shoot right now for Grant Hill. We get see the socks. We see the whole ensemble. All right, what has impressed you about Oral Roberts in this first half? Well, just the confidence. They've come out here knowing they belong, not yeah. intimidated by Ohio State, a number two seed, and really the play of their star, Max A. Smith, has been fantastic, Bird. He's got 18 points. The rest of the team has 18 points. And it's time for Thrilling Drives presented by Nissan. And Dwayne Washington Jr. started off three for three, getting to the rim. And of course, on the other side, Max A. Smith attacking the basket, playing inspired basketball in his first game in front of the Iron Eagle. <laughs> well, every now and again, we learn about players that maybe did not get a whole lot of attention based on the school they play at the conference they play out of. But then March comes and these stories get written. And right now it's Max Aismas that is writing his own story. Yeah, it's like clockwork. It happens every year during the tournament. There's buzzer beaters, there's upsets, and of course, there's new stars emerging. We're seeing that here on display. Let's check in with Jamie Erdahl. Well, just wanted to touch defensively on both teams. I spoke with both coaches. Oral Roberts, what you're seeing here is toes on the arc. After the first five minutes, Paul Mills wasn't happy with the shots they allowed from Ohio State. So they have really begun to pack it in besides that possession. For Ohio State, Coach Holtman said they have to get to the level on the pick and roll. There was a great trash can display from Grant Hill in our green room at halftime <laughs> just to show how they could bother Ace Miss a little bit more. Yeah, that really was an excellent display from Grant Hill. I mean, you have to be resourceful. You used everything at your disposal. <laughs> After the orange bucket missed by Oral Roberts, pass hooked inside, and Washington was out of bounds, so he couldn't grab the errant pass. Turnover, Ohio State. And, and Jalo right there turned the ball over, but I like attacking the basket here to start the game, getting into the paint for Ohio State. Two of the last three 15 seeds that led two seeds at halftime won the game. And that's the situation we face here. O'Banner avoids the defender and clears for ace miss. Against Arns. Kick. Open look. Jurgens way off on a three. A great setup there by ace miss. Jurgens is unable to convert. So Walker getting the start in this second half. Chalo loses it. Break opportunity for Oral Roberts. Skip pass. Thompson. Air ball. But it acts as a pass. O'Banner can't finish on the inside. Right now, C.J. Walker, the veteran. The redshirt senior slowing things down. Getting the tempo to favor the Buckeyes. And of course, getting the ball inside. Right on cue to Liddell. Liddell seals off that area and gives the Buckeyes a one-point lead. Ohio State had lost four in a row heading into the Big Ten tournament, then ripped off three straight wins before falling to Illinois. 
in the championship game. A three. Kevin O'Banner is on target. Pick and pop. He likes that top of the key, or maybe by the logo there, <laughs> the S in the March Madness. But you got to defend that defensively if you're Ohio State. We do have an extended logo here at the Big Dance, so everybody can be a part of this logo mania. You know, for me, they'd have to put the logo inside the paint. <laughs> I'm going to look up your numbers. I believe your jump shot improved over time. Oh, yeah, you know. Something like that. Liddell's pass was considered out of bounds. Ohio State saying that Ace Miss touched it. And I think they're right. Trying to make a wraparound pass, not the ideal. No. I, well, Ooh, yeah, he did. He did. So a missed call there. Jeff Anderson, Jerry Pollard, Bart Lennox, our officiating crew. O'Banner, bottom, a three. Back-to-back -back plays, Bird. The, the rotation slow. Jalo tried to get out there, but you got to get there sooner. O'Banner knocking it down. 42-37, Oral Roberts. Three minutes gone by in this second half. Walker spread it for Arns. Now Liddell. Three defenders in the area, and Lazell gets the bucket. And I like the pace that he plays with. He just takes his time, makes the right read, beautiful up fake, getting the shot he wanted. He's modeled his game after Paul Millsap. Backdoor cut. Barnes saves a terrific effort. Washington. Drive and kick, ball movement. Arns got the defender to lean. Book it, a three for Justin Arns. And that was a tough shot. Great ball fake, sidestep, still was contested. Arns knocking it down. We are tied at 42. O'Banner, bullet feed. Extra, extra, ace miss, off the heel. And see how that ball just pops around the perimeter for Oral Roberts. Arns gives it up. Jallo takes the baseline, curls. Off the window, rebound, Liddell, he pushed. Foul on E.J. Liddell. And right now the bigs on both sides, O'Banner, pick pop, knock it down, and inside Liddell, getting busy, getting wet in the paint. We got a ball game. And Bird, a little concern right now for Ohio State, Liddell inside as he finishes that easy layup, runs down the court, it's grimacing a bit, grabbing his back. And at that last timeout, was getting looked at by the trainers and is out of the game right now. So hopefully it's nothing major for Ohio State. Liddell so important to their success. Already playing without Kyle Young, sitting this one out. As he's been dealing with a concussion, ball movement out of the timeout. O'Banner puts it on the floor. Seven to shoot. Kareem Thompson loses it. Busted play. Loxis, a three. And you have to stay disciplined. So many shooters on the floor for Oral Roberts. A broken play finds Loxis and he knocks it down. Grant, Oral Roberts attempts 29 three-pointers per game. That's seventh in Division One. They have 24 attempts already today. Say that again. 24 <laughs> attempts today, wow. and they might have another one here, up by three. Thompson couldn't take the baseline. Three ball comes up short for O'Banner. And they're going to keep firing. I mean, this is how they play. Get it inside. Key is hacked. And it is Loxis with the foul. Liddell, they are just trying to do whatever they can to get him comfortable. It was the lower back that he was motioning towards. So Oral Roberts has played some big time programs this year. They got throttled by Missouri, but then hung with Oklahoma State. Oklahoma ended up being a 14 point loss and a double digit loss at Arkansas. Yeah, I mean, you said it best. I mean, they, they played power five opponents and then in those games, only got blown out there, like you said, by Missouri. So not afraid. This Oral Roberts team playing with confidence. Zed Key misses on a pair. 57% shooter. Empty trip for Ohio State. 
So Oral Roberts has now attempted 25 threes. They have attempted 22 point field goals. And watch O'Banner, he likes to slip the screens. Done a great job picking and popping, and they just spread you out and get you rotating. And if you don't get there, they'll let it fly. Thompson does on that launch. And this is from three-point territory. Back in, bank shot no from Key. Rebound controlled by O'Banner. And five guys gain rebounding defensively for Oral Roberts is a must, limiting to Ohio State to just one shot per, per possession. Jurgens, ball movement, O'Banner, short. Nice box out there. And Orange bounces it off the Golden Eagles. Paramount Plus is here. Live sports, breaking news, and a mountain of entertainment. Paramount Plus, try it free. So Liddell continues to try to work through whatever discomfort. He's back on the floor for Ohio State. That's a good sign. And Liddell has 10 points. Washington, the high man, with 11. Ace Miss has 18 for Oral Roberts, 16 for Kevin O'Batter. 45-42, Golden Eagles. Washington lines it up. Rebound, Liddell lost it as he tried to go down low. And here comes Ace Miss the other way for Oral Roberts. Screen, O'Banner. O'Banner, the back end, bumping bodies, fade away. Off the rim, no good. Knocked out of bounds off of Kareem Thompson, Ohio State possession. And as we said, they're going to continue to let it fly. But I like the pace. The ball finds energy. And the ball movement, player movement of Oral Roberts on display here, getting good opportunities at the three-point line. This Ohio State team is ranked as high as number four in the nation this season. They finished off at 21-9. and nine. Another missed opportunity there. They're just out of flow right now offensively for these Buckeyes. Not in, no rhythm whatsoever. Washington is 4 of 10. Hop step doesn't go for East Miss, but he is headed to the free throw line. And, and that's what's so tough. Because he can come off that high screen and roll and fire, he also has the ability to turn the corner as he does on a very good defender in Walker. And got pushed and fouled there, unable to get the old school three-point play, but certainly at the free throw line for his ball club. From Rockwall, Texas, Max Aismiss. Summit League Player of the Year. And he just doesn't miss at the free throw line, 88%. Watch Masters Live on Paramount Plus for coverage of featured groups, Amen Corner, and holes 15 and 16. Go to ParamountPlus.com to frock try it free. 46-42, Ace Miss can tack on another. 20 points for the sophomore. Just under 13 minutes to play, second half. Knock away, Jurgens streaking to the rim. A steal and bucket for Carlos Jurgens. And Dwayne Washington Jr. just got a little lax there with the ball. Great anticipation there on the steal from Jurgens. Jurgens does a little bit of everything for this Golden Eagles team. The lead is now seven. Liddell trying to work through a double team, a tie up possession arrow to Oral Roberts. And Chris Holtman is beside himself, beside himself right now because his team is just getting outworked. Great defense, getting out points off of steals in transition and just the energy level and the defensive intensity as O'Banner slips the screen unable to convert. Turnover. Ohio State has gone four minutes without a point. Liddell lines it up. Missed it. And a foul called off the rebound action. Ohio State's going to stay on this end. So you wonder, when you step up in competition, can you still deliver? And Max Aismiss against those opponents that we just mentioned, he has produced. With all good teams, certainly showing that he, he can get it going here. And this team has played well as of late, obviously winning five games in a row, but he is just 
giving his team life here and a lot of confidence in the second half. Foul called on DeShang Weaver. Foul now on Jurgens as Dwayne Washington Jr. took a pop. And a smart play there by Washington. Washington, obviously, you have to respect his jump shot. And Jurgens got in his face, got you know in his space, and driving that defender. Drawing the foul is what you have to do on that play. He did it. Washington playing alongside C.J. Walker. Ohio State just searching for offense right now. Trailing 49-42. The cut. The finish and the foul. C.J. Walker. So smart right there. Liddell gets the double team. The awareness surveys the floor. See his, his teammate Walker streaking to the rim. And now a three-point play opportunity for these Buckeyes. I think a lot of people were curious about that question. Siri answers it for us with Max Aismas from Oral Roberts, the sophomore, the Summit League Player of the Year. He's got a deadly jump shot, which we've seen. Shoots it at 40% from three-point territory and 20 points so far today to lead the way for the Golden Eagles. And Bird, there's no fear. I'll tell you what's fear is taking a final exam when you're a biomedical chemistry major. <laughs> That's boy. fear. This is just basketball. He's having fun. Can he keep it up? That's going to be the key for his ball club. You've got the savviness of C.J. Walker, who is in there and just completes the three-point play, a 95% free throw shooter. Oral Roberts has turned it over just five times. Ohio State with 10 turnovers, and this is a four-point game. Jurgens, one-on-one with Walker. Circles, Walker sticks with him, 10 to shoot. Oh, Banner lines it up. Big shot, no, rebound snatched by Liddell. I like what Ohio State did. They had Liddell ensuing as he Unable to convert that three-pointer, but Suing is guarding Aismith. And when they set that screen and roll, they're switching now. Suing, a bigger player on O'Banner, able to guard him in the post. Suing is now 3 of 8 from the field. And Ohio State is 18 of 42. It's 43%. Open look. Rimming out for Jurgens. Poked out of bounds, last touched by Oral Roberts. Let's check in with Jamie Urdell. Yeah, Liddell tasked with uh, chasing Ace Misser on the last couple of possessions. Not good for someone who's dealing with a bit of a low back issue. He had a lot of work done when he was on the bench, obviously. He continues to get asked if he's okay during timeouts, but I'm being told that this is an aggravation that has, he has been dealing with for several games now. And Jamie, the sophomore from Belleville, Illinois, he is so important to this team's success, and they often run their offense through him. Low post, mid post, turnover. Acceleration by Thompson. Angle cut off by Walker. Now they settle in a half court set for Oral Roberts. Jurgens, stop and go. He draws the foul on Liddell. <laughs> nice move. I did not see that in his package. Jurgens on play, but right here, taking advantage of the isolation against. Liddell, nice little hesitation off the bounce, drawing a foul, bringing his arms up through Liddell, forcing him to reach in and get called for the foul. And that is three fouls on E.J. Liddell. Jurgen shoots it at 79%. Chris Holtman has great confidence, will leave him in the game. The challenge is, though, Ohio State screening all pick and rolls. And now Oral Roberts is taking advantage of those mismatches, going at Liddell, knowing he's in foul trouble. And Ohio State does not have the option with Kyle Young, who could play the four, play the five, taking away a bit of their versatility in the front court and forcing Zed Key and Seth Towns into minutes. Walker in the dribble drive. And I like that decisive move, catches it. Drives hard baseline for the easy two, but I agree, Kyle Young, in a game like this, he would thrive. Yep. His energy, his leadership, they need it right now. Unfortunately, unable to play. Weaver had it cut off. Ace miss, feeds, Jurgens rims out on a three, and a foul was called off the rebound action as Liddell grabbed it. It'll work against the Golden Eagles. And just a beautiful move here, Walker ripped through attacking the baseline getting to the rim no one on the weak side there to help and walker is not afraid of the moment 
has made big plays all season for his ball club. We are just past the midway point of this second half. The two seed in the south. Ohio State trails the 15 seed. Oral Roberts, 51 to 47. Washington, they need it. Couldn't get it. Tip in, doesn't go for Towns. Not to the outside. Walker couldn't control it. They hit the deck. Oh, excellent effort by Thompson. And a tie-up possession arrow to Ohio State. Paul Mills loves that. Not bending over at the waist, but getting dirty on the floor. Blue collar desperate, wanting it. On display here for Oral Roberts. Great effort by Thompson. Ohio State came into this game a major favorite. You're talking somewhere in the area of 17 points. And they trail by four to the champions of the Summit League. And I like this possession for Ohio State, moving the ball around. Shot clock getting low, have to finally look at the basket. Towns off the rim, rebounded by Ace Miss. Almost like they weren't aware of yep. the shot clock situation, but they're at least moving the ball, trying to shift this defense from Oral Roberts. Keep in mind, Liddell is playing with three fouls. He draws the assignment on Ace Smith on the switch. Trying to turn the corner. Liddell sticks with him. Ace Smith off. Not the guy you want to guard with three fouls and a bad back, but good defense on that possession. No look. Liddell fills the lane and scores off the window, plus one. And I know he's not feeling 100%, but Liddell getting it done on both ends, sliding his feet for the big guy, forcing A. Smith into a tough shot. And then on the other end, running the court, reward the big man. Nice concentration, composure, strength, able to finish inside and talk about improvement. I mean, he improved plus 9.2 points from last year to this year. Big time play by Liddell. Seth Towns will sit. And Musa Jallo is back in. Liddell has 12 points, nine rebounds. He can bang in the post. He can take you outside. Excellent mid-range game. Chris Holtman has really leaned on him in his sophomore season. Two straight state titles and a two-time Mr. Basketball in the state of Illinois. Big possession here for the Golden Eagles. The momentum has sort of shifted to Ohio State. They have to get a good offensive shot here on this possession. Jurgens, tight defense there from Walker into the hands of A. Smith. Eight to shoot. Screen. A. Smith. The blow by. The finish. <laughs> when in doubt, give the ball to A. Smith. Big time play. Turn the corner with the finish inside. 22 points for Max A. Smith. Liddell, short, popped out volleyball style, and the save. So suing controls. Hard cut, Jallo, denied! Deshang Weaver with the block. Out of bounds, and Ohio State will retain. Oral Roberts does not have a reputation for being a good defensive team, but they do know how to score. All right, Grant, our game summary. Shooting percentages are not all that impressive, but Oral Roberts will make threes and force you to guard them out on the perimeter. They've got a three-point lead on Ohio State. You said the best. They average 11 threes a game on pace to surpass that average. Liddell wheels on the inside. A tough bucket for E.J. Liddell. An impressive balance right there by Liddell. I thought he was going to fall, possibly get called for a walking violation, but able to take his time, concentrate, and finish on the interior. 53-52, Oral Roberts. A. Smith, 22 points. Oh, that's really deep. Off the rim. Long rebound. Walker pushes. Ohio State can take the lead. Get the ball inside to Liddell. Washington looks in that direction. Oh, a really difficult delivery. Washington with a floater. And, and some guys can, can take and make tough shots. Washington Jr. is one of them. Dwayne Washington Jr., 16 points per game this season. Average, he's got 13 today. And Ohio State goes in front by one. Oh, better! Count it, a three. And you can't give him space at all. Confident, quick release, 
will let it fly. Liddell a little late closing out there on that last jumper. 19 for the versatile big Kevin O'Banner. Inside outside skills. We've seen both. 56-54 Oral Roberts. Walker surveys. Oh, that was an obvious pass from Jallo. He telegraphed it, intercepted by Oral Roberts. Tough. You know, Liddell was getting fronted. Not the right angle to insert the ball or, in, or throw the ball inside to Liddell. A. Smith rejected. It's Jallo with the block for Ohio State. Walker takes it. Contact is good. Using the glass, C.J. Walker, we're tied at 56. Just constantly probes. Not really a jump shooter, likes to get into the paint. Likes the contact, able to finish. And out of 538 remaining in the second half, Mackey Arena. And right now, Oral Roberts looks out of sorts. A. Smith, nobody there as he takes it to the rack. And it doesn't matter if they're out of sorts. Just give him the ball as Chris Oldman, not happy, wants a timeout. Ace Miss is 8 of 19 from the field, 24 points for the nation's leading scorer. Great plays on both ends of the floor. Great weak side defense with the block. Jallo helping out his teammates. And then on the offensive end, Walker getting to the paint, absorbing the contact and the finish. And you know Ace Miss, he has the answer, gets to the rim. We got a ball game. Ian Eagle, Grant Hill, Jamie Erdahl, the rest of our CBS crew. We are in West Lafayette, Indiana, Mackey Arena. Oral Roberts, the 15 seed in the South, leading the two seed, Ohio State, 58 to 56. Liddell, a back in on O'Banner. In a crowd, he finishes. And that was not an easy shot right there. Liddell getting it going, attacking the double team with that finish. 17 points for E.J. Liddell. We're knotted up at 58 apiece. A. Smith rejected the full palm by Suing. Oh, great defense. Oh, man. Can Ohio State take advantage with Walker? Teardrop. C.J. Walker puts the Buckeyes in front by two. And big time play coming out of the timeout there for Ohio State. Executing on both ends of the floor, defensively and offensively. A. Smith. Oh, yeah. We are tied at 60. He is a blur with the ball in his hands. He really is. Turning that corner whenever he wants, getting into the paint with the easy finish. We got it down to the four-minute mark of regulation. Suing gets a touch on the outside. Walker. Spin to the rim. Dish. Jallo can't finish. Foul call. And right now, Walker taking over, getting it done for his ball club, stepping up when they need him. Just turns the corner, a nice little teardrop over the defense, and A. Smith answers, getting to the rim. Another floater. The guard play on both teams, playing big here down the stretch. Lusa Jallo who Holtman also recruited at Butler, his previous job, ended up here at Ohio State. Outstanding defender, but offense has not come as easy to Jallo, who shoots it at 57% of the free throw line. Deshang Weaver back in. He replaces Francis Lotsis. And Ohio State starting to get it going, but I, I was beginning to think that maybe this Mackey Arena is freaking out these Big Ten teams. Last night, Michigan State yep. lost to UCLA, and then now Ohio State has their hands full with this tough Oral Roberts ball club. 61-60, Ohio State. Foul called out front, and Suing can't believe it. Coming down the stretch with 3.52 remaining. We've got a one-point game in the South region. And a Buckeye, Columbus, Ohio native. And I'm sure on the edge of his seat right now with Ohio State in front, 61 to 60, under four minutes to play in regulation. A. Smith directing traffic for Oral Roberts. He's got the matchup with Liddell. Kick, Weaver lines it up. Rims out on a three ball, rebound O'Banner. Put back won't go, and it's controlled by the Buckeyes. There's been about four or five possessions where A. Smith has dri dripped the, drove the ball to the basket and created open threes for his teammates that just unable to convert those wide open looks. Washington, the penetration. 
floater doesn't go. Ohio State had made five straight shots out of bounds, last touched by the Golden Eagles. So Ohio State retains it, 3-16 to play here in the second half. Washington inside the arc. Book it. Dwayne Washington Jr. a long two-pointer. And Dwayne Washington loves shooting off of those dribble handoffs. Hitting a clutch shot for his team. Nice three-point lead now. H. Miss off the heel, no good. And right now the ball flow and ball movement not there for Oral Roberts these last two or three possessions. They got to get back to moving the ball around the court and not trying to take advantage of the one-on-one -on -one mismatches. Walker in no rush, deliberate with 15 to shoot. Liddell off the double team. Ball fake. Walker amongst the trees. Knocked out of his hands. Liddell a back in. Step through. Good effort. He's fouled. And that's Big Ten basketball right there, getting physical. But the most dangerous man on an inline out of bounds play is the inbounder. And Washington so good moving without the basketball. Simple dribble handoff. Stepping up big here for their ball club, Liddell and Washington down the stretch. It is a double-double for E.J. Liddell. 17 points, 10 rebounds. Foul was called on Kevin O'Banner. And he might have some blood on his lip. He's checking his chiclets. Just showing the physicality here inside. Well, Banner has played great basketball, and time to time, bows get swung and a little bloody lip. And gonna play through it. Grant free throw shooting could be a huge factor down the stretch. Oral Roberts, number one in the country in that category. Ohio State is eight of 14 today. The lead is four. A. Smith circles. Dumps it inside. O'Banner trying to take the baseline. Comes up short. Good defense there by Jallo. Jallo was real physical. Walled him up. Didn't foul. Great defensive execution there on that possession for the Buckeyes. First ever meeting between these two schools. Oral Roberts and Ohio State. Two minutes to play. This is the time of the game. Dwayne Washington Jr. loves. Not afraid of the moment. Washington loses the ball. Thompson ahead. Ace miss. Accelerates. Rejected. Do not go in there on EJ Liddell. Oh, bad back and all. Liddell making the extra effort. Ooh, what a beautiful block. He saves a bucket. And Ohio State, with possession, uses some time here. A minute 28 to play. Washington. Dump it inside. Liddell deflected and a turnover. Jurgens loses his footing. Oral Roberts has missed its last five shots. They're in a four-point hole. O'Banner one-on-one. O'Banner gets to the rim, doesn't get the roll, but he is going to the free throw line. And, and the angle right there, I didn't think he could get through, but somehow he would have knife his way to the basket. And O'Banner getting to the free throw line. But look at this defense right here, Liddell. I mean, first of all, A. Smith so fast in the open court. I don't know, it might have hit the backboard. I, I got to take another look at that, but I love the effort. Both teams right now laying it all on the line. A minute left, wanting to advance and continue dancing here in this tournament. That is the fourth foul on E.J. Liddell. Oh, Banner is money at the free throw line, 88%. Locks is back in for Oral Roberts. Orange returns for Ohio State. 82.4% as a team. Orange coming back in, now helps with the spacing with his shooting. Expect Liddell to go to work inside these next few possessions. Ace Miss and O'Banner have combined for 47 of Oral Roberts, 62 points. We've got a two-point game. Two-point lead for Ohio State. Oral Roberts has committed eight fouls. They do have the possession arrow in their favor. Buckeyes with possession. And I, right now, Oral Roberts, they don't need to foul, of course. Just 
offensive, ex excuse me, defensive execution, understand that Washington Jr. And it looked like it was almost a five second call, but Chris Holman calls a timeout and bails out his team. Whew. Two point game. Come back and watch it with us. Well, at some point we knew we were going to wheel this one out. Sorry about that. Grant, Lehigh, Duke, 15-2. You got Richmond, you got Santa Clara, you got Coppin State, Hampton, Norfolk State, on and on and on. Uh, we have entered that territory here in a two-point game with one minute to play in West Lafayette. Ohio State, execute your offense. Washington, Liddell, have to make a big play. Oral Roberts, defend without fouling. Gang rebound to secure the defensive possession. Washington now facing one-on-one -on -one coverage with Ace Smith. Spin. Off the mark, Liddell, offensive rebound, and he's going to look to clear. Need some help. And a foul is called out on the perimeter. First of all, great offensive rebound there by Liddell. Washington got the shot he wanted against the smaller Ace Miss, unable to convert. But Liddell gets it, and you know what? He doesn't look to put it back up. Understands time and score. The shot clock works to our advantage, but got fouled. And must step up here and knock down a free throw. Foul was called on Acemus. And Oral Roberts will use a timeout. E.J. Liddell headed to the line at a two-point game. The Buckeyes are trying to get to the finish line and avoid a major upset against Oral Roberts. 64-62, one and one here for Ohio State. And big free throws here for Liddell. If he makes two, it's a two possession ball game. They'd be up four. Or Roberts, they don't need to settle for a three in this situation, whether uh, he makes one or two or, or, or misses. Just attack, try to get a quick two. If that's denied and an open three presents itself, knock it down. Managing this situation important for both clubs down the stretch. Grant the free throw shooting number today. Walker is four of five. The rest of the team is four of nine. E.J. Liddell. Rims out. And rebounded by Lotsis. Don't need a three. Attack. Get to the paint. Make something happen. If you're, if you're Ace Miss. 25 seconds left. Oral Roberts down by two. Ace Miss nearly lost his footing. Pitch it out to the outside. Shot clock at 12. Back in. O'Banner for the tie. He's fouled. Two free throws for Kevin O'Banner with 14.9 to play. And I admire the patience of this ball club. Really not afraid to get late into the shot clock down two. O'Banner, nice post up in the bench in disbelief. O'Banner pretty automatic being high in from the free throw line. Excuse me. 21 points, 10 rebounds for Kevin O'Banner. First team all Summit League. It's a one point game. And I am right now, Oral Roberts, not afraid of the moment. They've been in close games all season, particularly in their conference tournament. And a timeout taken with 14.9 on the clock. The Buckeyes are clinging to a one point advantage. So Florida has already advanced. The number seven seed in the South, they're awaiting the result here, Ohio State and Oral Roberts, a one-point game with 14.9 remaining and a second free throw for Kevin O'Banner. O'Banner shoots 88% from the free throw line. Assume he makes this a tie game. If I'm Ohio State, you want the last shot no matter what. Maybe start to initiate your, your offense there with six, seven, six or, second, six or uh, seven seconds left on the clock. But you don't want to give Oral Roberts an opportunity to come back on the other end. Kevin O'Banner had to think about this second free throw. The timeout called by Chris Holtman. Final timeout for Ohio State. Buckeye 64. Golden Eagles 63. Second attempt for O'Banner. Tie game. And right now you have to expect either Washington or Walker having the ball in their hands penetrating, getting into the paint, making something happen here for the Buckeyes. Get it in for Washington. 12 seconds to play. Ohio State looking for the win. Met by Ace Miss. 
Five seconds, four seconds. Washington, step back, Jay. Short. We're going to overtime. Bonus basketball in West Lafayette. Oh, what a treat. <laughs> the ball in the hands of Dwayne Washington Jr. He has hit that step back three plenty of times, unable to convert. We got more basketball here, Bird. You got to love it. A good look for Washington. And he comes up short. The 2-15 matchup. Put five minutes on the clock at Mackey. And Bird, look, I'm, I'm excited selfishly that we get a chance to go to overtime. Great play by both teams. But on that last play, you know, Washington, I've seen him hit that step back plenty of times, particularly last week in the Big Ten tournament. But you have the smaller ace miss on you. Get into the paint. Make something happen. But we move on. We have overtime, and uh, we get a nice five-minute treat here, Bird. Ohio State has missed seven free throws today, Grant, which could come back to haunt them. South region, first round action. Oral Roberts, the 15 seed. Ohio State, the two seed. OT. And the Buckeyes control it. Walker out front. Watch by Thompson. Walker, the jumper. Rimming, no. Tapped out to Thompson for Oral Roberts. And be mindful, Liddell right now with four fouls. Must be careful defensively. Needs to stay in this overtime for his team to have a chance. O'Banner, isolation. Bumping bodies with Washington. Makes his move too easy. Yeah, too easy. Had the smaller Washington Jr. on him. It's big and strong. Great footwork and speed and spin move with the easy finish. Kevin O'Banner was an impact player from the day he walked on campus at Oral Roberts, and he's just given the Golden Eagles a two-point lead in overtime. He can't double-team because the shooting of Oral Roberts, one-on-one, -on -one, he was able to expose that. Washington lets it fly. Oh, an overtime wedgie! <laughs> what are the odds? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> The shot and your call. <laughs> and I don't think Ohio State was expecting it because Oral Roberts takes over. And, and once again, you know, Dwayne Washington, an incredible player, but I think he is dangerous attacking off the bounce, particularly in overtime. So diverse in his ability to score as it looks like the officials are making some sort of adjustment here. And we're good to go. 66-64, Oral Roberts. O'Banner hands to Jurgens. They're going to try to post up O'Banner. He's got the smaller mismatch inside. Jurgens tried to drive it, gets it back with 10 to shoot. One-on-one -on -one with Walker. Ace miss. Gives it up. Loxus. Pull up. Off one leg, he can't get it to go. Rebounded by O'Banner. Takes it strong. And the foul. Wow. O'Banner playing strong and confident. Great shot fake and a runner. And O'Banner anticipating the miss. Has the mismatch inside against the smaller Jallo. Just great desire, strength, confidence. Lifting his team here in this extra period. The foul called on Washington. O'Banner continues to get it done inside, outside. And Bird, right now, Liddell has not touched the ball here in extra period. Liddell straight in for two. Great set. Cleared the side. Let him go. Isolation one on one. Able to convert on that quick hitter. 20 points, 11 rebounds for EJ Liddell. 69-66, Oral Roberts. We hit three minutes to go in OT. A. Smith, head and shoulder fake. Gets it back. Around suing. A. Smith hangs. Nearly got it to go, but he is going to the free throw line with the contact. We talked about Liddell in that previous possession. I mean, just stepping up. Had a whole side to himself. Didn't waste his time. Just attacked before the double team came. Putting his team on his back with this kid right here. I mean, 
he's fast, but he's he's crafty. I mean, he, he's able to get by you and not afraid of going in there with bigger guys. And a rare miss at the free throw line for Max Acemus. And I don't think Acemus has come out of the game. I mean, he has played and been on this court the whole game, exerting so much energy for his ball club. Convert one of those two free throws. He and O'Banner have scored 55 of Oral Roberts' 70 points. Ball got jarred loose from Jallo. Liddell with 2.43 to go in OT. Double team. Liddell trying to work through it. Loses it. Scrap for it. Everybody hitting the deck. And Acemas comes away with a loose ball. Man, what a great double team right there by Oral Roberts. Acemas got a bump from Jallo. Switch. Turns the corner. Kick it for Jurgens. 12 to shoot. Acemas peeks at the clock. Seven on the timer. Makes his move. Step back, Jay. Bullseye! Oh, oh, oh. I mean, great defense there by Suing, but Acemas steps back for the mid range jump shot. And Oral Roberts, right now, up six, is sitting pretty, Bird. 29 points for the nation's leading scorer. And upset is cooking at Mackey. It's all about defense. Oral Roberts down the stretch. Great double team there by Lotsis. Getting the, and converting the, the turnover. And then this right here, this is just excellence at its best. Clutch, step back, overtime, so much on the line. A. Smith steps up and knock it down. 1974, last NCAA tournament win for Oral Roberts. 157 on the clock in overtime. Washington. No good. Rebounded by Liddell. He put it down low and it got knocked away. And I tell you, every time Liddell has touched the ball, even on offensive rebounds, they are swarming active hands leading the turnovers. And right now. Oral Roberts using the clock. Six point lead. Acemas gives it up. Shot clock down to eight. O'Banner, the drive, and a travel. Turnover, Oral Roberts. Yeah, and good defense there. Washington Jr. forcing that turnover, sliding his feet, being physical. O'Banner dragged that foot, call for that travel. Only the sixth turnover of the day for the Golden Eagles. A minute 23 to play. It's 8-2 Oral Roberts in OT. Right now, quick hitter right here. Washington attacking the basket. What Ohio State needs. Washington crosses. Off the window! Yes, sir! And a foul! And, and just a beautiful move right there. Able to attack off the bounce. Getting into the perimeter, the interior, drawing the foul. And look, Washington Jr., we know he can shoot the ball, but he is dangerous when he's attacking, getting to the free throw line, and converting those three-point play opportunities. 85% shooter, first trip to the line today with his team down by four. And see, that's what I mean. I mean, he's too good. I mean, he, he needs to attack, be more aggressive. Great play. Now they got to get a stop here uh, against Oral Roberts. 72-69, Oral Roberts. One minute to play in overtime. One minute. One minute H. Miss slapping away the hand of Jallo. 12 to shoot. 50 seconds to play. High screen and roll action. A. Smith, swing it. O'Banner misses on a three ball. Door is open here for Ohio State, trailing by three. Washington, the penetration, he's fouled. First of all, Ohio State, little miscommunication there on defense. O'Banner wide open, unable to convert. But on the other end, I love Washington in the open court attacking. You didn't need a three right there. Just get to the paint, do something, be aggressive. Try to initiate some contact and get some free throws. So Washington stepping up big. Junior from Grand Rapids, Michigan. No good. You talked, Bird, about free throw shooting. Nine for 17 right now for Ohio State. 
trying to cut it to two with 37.2 to play. Missed them both. Rebound grabbed by Lotsis. Wow, now you don't need to necessarily, well, there's a shot clock differential about seven seconds, so Ohio State opted to foul. This team 82% from the free throw line as a team. So you have to assume they're gonna make them, but wow, free throw shooting, as you talked about earlier, coming back to hurt Ohio State. This is a one and one for Oral Roberts. Kareem Thompson shoots it at 73%. And that's something when you're one of the worst free throw shooters on the team and you shoot 73%. And he missed it. 72-69, Oral Roberts. Washington with a purpose. Big shot, no! Rebounded by Thompson. And a foul called with 22.9 to play. And give these kids credit. Playing with toughness right here. Great defense without fouling. Great wall up there by O'Banner. And then securing the rebound defensively. Thompson back at the line. Has a chance to make this a two possession ball game for his ball club. Kareem Thompson, junior college transfer, East Central Community College in Mississippi. Two free throws because it's the double bonus now for Oral Roberts. It's a four point lead with 22.9 on the clock. Expect Ohio State to push it again. Washington as he drives. You don't need to necessarily take it all the way. There'll be shooters spotting up. Got a 15 seconds left. Liddell got a three. Oh. He has cut it to one. 14.6 remaining. Now try to get a trap right away or a steal before you foul. And they give it in the backcourt. And Walker picks up the personal. O'Banner will head to the free throw line. And I had to stand up here, Bird, because this is some great basketball. Liddell steps back, knocks down that three. And Ohio State showing their toughness, not going away here. Still a lot of time left here, regardless if he converts these or not. O'Banner is five of five on the day. Now six of six. 74-72, Oral Roberts. The 15 seed in the South trying to pull off a shocker. 30 points for Kevin O'Banner. Substitution, Seth Towns will check in to replace Musa Jallo. And good substitution, Seth Towns is a capable three-point shooter, can stretch the floor shooting 34%. So. Give some driving lanes here for Walker and or Washington, but watch the dribble handoff for Washington, who's so good at coming off that and knocking down a three. Ohio State has no timeouts remaining. Eight seconds left. They trail by three. Orange, the jumper, doesn't go off the window. Knocked to the outside. Washington off the mark, and it's over. It's March. Expect the unexpected. Oral Roberts has pulled off the upset. 75, 72, the 15th seed in the South is moving on. Wow, this is what March Madness is all about. Upsets, they happen every year. We had the luxury of watching this. Oral Roberts from the, the very start of this game came out, played big, played confidence, and Bird, they got it done. They never seemed overmatched. They never appeared to be overwhelmed by the big stage. Ohio State got two looks at a potential tying three. And Ohio State, their best player, wide open at the top of the key. Great defense there on Arns. Washington Jr., wide open, unable to convert. But you said it best. They came out here expecting to win from the start, playing with confidence, putting on a show. What a game. What a treat for us. And heartbreak for Ohio State. A roller coaster ride for the Buckeyes all season. Meanwhile, for Oral Roberts, ecstasy.
The Buckeye season ends in West Lafayette. The Golden Eagle season continues in the state of Indiana. Oral Roberts, a hot team coming into the tournament. It's now six consecutive wins for the Golden Eagles. First NCAA tournament win since 1974. It feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> In incredible. What a treat. Oral Roberts on to the second round to play the seven seed Florida on Sunday. The ninth number 15 seed to knock off a two in NCAA tournament history. Coming up next, our tournament special, full updates, more action still to come. Wow, from West Lafayette.